bring you greeting in the name that is above every other name. Jesus Christ, the Son of Living God. My name is Brother Chukwemeka. I just want to present this false prophet, Pope Francis, you know, visit to Israel. My dear audience, you know, Pope Francis, the false prophet, is going to play a powerful role in this uh, 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 peace treaty between Israel and the uh, Palestinian. Right now, he was there yesterday. He invited the uh, uh, president of Israel, Perez, to Vantica. He also invited the president of uh, Palestinian Abbas to Vantica. You know, when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. He invited them to Vantica Bar. By next month, June, you see that the new world order, you know, is pursuing their peace agenda on the world stage because they want to bring in their one world religion, one world financial institution, and one world government. So that is why the false prophet, you know, invited the president, uh, the president of Israel, the Paris, and Palestinian president to Venteka by next month. So time is short. Time is short. When they say peace and safety, sudden destruction, war is coming. I believe that war is fast approaching. War is coming. War is coming. War is coming. A huge war, catastrophic war, is coming in the Middle East. The false prophet, you know, is, is playing a powerful role in the new world order, said the Spirit of God. You can see he has the spirit of deception. A huge deception, spirit of deception is in him because he didn't know God. He want to divide the land. Of God, they want to divide Israel. Woe unto him, said the Spirit of God. He has invited the Israeli president and Palestinian president to Venteca next month. My dear audience, time is really running out for these seven years of peace treaty to be signed, said the Spirit of God. When they say peace and safety, sudden destruction. Pope Francis, the false prophet, is going to play a powerful role in bringing one world religion, one world currency, and one world government, said the Spirit of God. So, if you are not yet saved, if you are not yet giving your life to Jesus, now is the set time. We are watching Bible prophecy unfold, unfold right before our very eyes. You can see the spirit of deception in him. Trying to divide Jerusalem. Trying to, you know, to give Palestinians their own state. He's walking contrary to the way of God. Say the Spirit of God. If you are not yet saved, if you are not yet giving your life to Jesus, now is the day of your salvation. Just follow me right now to make this in us prayer. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that God Almighty raised you from the dead. I confess all my sin knowingly. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving my sin. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for putting my name in the Lamb Book of Life. In Jesus' powerful name I pray. Amen.